What's up, beautiful people of Ghana and beyond? How you all doing? I welcome you again to another high school reaction video. Okay, so you guys, now you will rate me. You you allow me to break, right? Ashanti people, why are you people like this? Eh? No, no, no. I just want to know why are you people like this. The thing I had to quickly do St. Louis is because I have I read a comment here and the mommy said that she is 70 years old, based abroad and that she misses home a lot and that she she graduated from st louis Kumasi. and i said okay mommy because of you i'm going to do this but i've had so many other commitments i needed i didn't want to just film a school because people are requesting because all the schools are important but i'm doing this and i'm dedicating this and i'm dedicating this video to her my amazing subscriber it's not easy to have a 70 years old somebody is 70 years old watch your video that is a big honor to me so today we are going to St. Louis to take a look at this all girls senior high school at the Ashanti region of Ghana I hope that you guys are ready if you are ready and I hope you subscribe to my channel okay so many schools will be coming we are going to the north we are going to the so many region the only region I won't come is a region where I will post a video and then that video people will use that video to attack the government both the past government the present government or they attack ghana no 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 i won't come back to i won't film a video again over there trust me no matter what you tell me i won't do it so please if you want to criticize your country look for an indigenous channel i am a foreigner and i'm here for the good things all right Ghana is not a perfect country, okay? I'm talking about areas that are working, that I know are working, and I can stand before God to say, yes, dear Lord, this area is working, and that was why I talked about it. So with all of that being said, let's go to Kumasi and check out these babes, and I will be back. Let's go. St. Louis Senior High School is one of the best second cycle institution in Kumasi in the Ashanti region of Ghana. The school was established in 1960 and has risen to become one of the best schools in Ghana. Please kindly consider St. Louis High School as your first choice school. Delightful welcome again to Launchpad. Our school of the day is St. Louis Senior High School. And I'm in the office of the headmistress, Mrs. Amachua Benefo. Hello, madam. Hello, my dear. How are you? Doing very well. And you? I can see you're doing very well. Most of the very, very well. 
I like what you're wearing. Thank you so much. <laughs> How are your girls doing? They are doing very well. Really? Ready for you. Price <laughs> for you. Oh my god, I can't wait to see them. Wow, I know she also has Lucen. Yeah, right. Wow. So how does it tear end? Okay. Give it back to them. Yeah. I feel so honored. I feel so proud to be the first class student of this institution to hear the school. Oh, okay. I'm so proud. Thank you. So what memories come to mind as you sit here? So many of them. Where the school started. Okay. And then in 19, don't forget I said it started in 1952. Yes. Then in 1960, the Catholic Church having acquired a parcel of land here, the school was moved to its current premises. The parcel of land was given to the Catholic Church by the then Otufo Nana Ajima Prempe the okay. second. Okay. And then, um, what was the reason why Louis was founded? Uh, to provide education for girls. The vision of the school is to produce or to impart skills, knowledge, godly principles to the students, okay. which will make them relevant to the ever-growing world. Okay. That is our vision. Okay. But the mission is to produce excellence and well-mannered ladies well who will be equipped to positively affect Ghana and beyond. beyond. Okay, so how are you inculcating this in the generation of um, Slopeset? I don't know whether it's an innate something that is put into the girls as soon as they enter here. They imbibe it straight away. Nobody teaches them anything. They come once they enter the four walls of the school. The grand or the discipline, the system will mold you. So looking at your performance, are you sure you can win the Super Zonals? Oh, you've been first, second, third, first, second, third. So we, have, we are really sure that we are going to take the cup home. With the help of God, we can make it. And I believe that we got the trophies to our school. And your alaya is so worse. So why PC, PC, PC? We are with the same school in form colors. So that's like you want to tease our alaya. It's just for fans that we don't like us as our alaya again. Of course, our alaya is so worse. But yesterday they respected us, so we don't want them again. Another person. PC, PC, PC. Oh yeah, PC. Oh Charlie. The truth is, I have always, you know, I, you know, I have, I, I don't know if you guys observe. I have never asked anybody to send me a video of a school. I, I do my research all alone. But getting videos for this school has been quite difficult, and I'm wondering why. So, but I hope at the end of before the video. I just believe I'll be able to find all the videos that I need. But if I cannot find all, let's take a look at this particular one. This particular one that I can find of the ex students that came back to give back, and I will be back. Let's go.
I can tell you for free that this school is more than just a, a school. The way the confidence of these kids is something that I cannot overemphasize. Like this, this, these girls are built to face the world. And now it makes a lot of sense that I'm seeing so many women in Ghana. Everyone is just doing all right, all right. They are doing all right. They are doing okay. And you begin to wonder how. I thought I heard that this country is not that okay. So what is happening? Now I understand. Education is just the key. And I'm so happy for all of you. And and you know why I appreciate all these schools? It's not just for the fact that these kids, this family, the family of these kids do not pay anything to the government. They pay nothing. But what I appreciate the most is the fact that the government gives them breakfast, gives them lunch, gives them dinner. And it's not just anyhow food. They give them rich food. And it kind of makes me wonder how do you source that out for those that look down on food food is the is one thing in life that can keep you poor because it's expensive you know you always eat you have to eat as much as you are able to eat you have to continue to eat and that is money so how is the government of ghana funding this how and this is why i cannot stop appreciating for those that feel i'm overhyping please don't feel that way i am a mother and i know what i go through sometimes if not for food if not for the fact that i have three kids to feed plus myself by now I would have been you know someone living very comfortable but because of that i'm still here on that level <laughs> So this is what I'm talking about. I said Ghana is rich. I know what I'm saying. All right. So appreciate your government and continue to give support to your alma mater because it's going to go a long way. So now let's go back to the school and do random tour and I will be back. Let's go. So it's day three of the National Science and Math Quiz right here at the University of Ghana Business School with three schools contesting today, St. Louis Senior High School, um, Kumasi High and then what other school? And Forces Senior High School. So we have our winners here, St. Louis girls. They are so happy but it's like I can't see it on their faces. So girls are going to tell me how it feels like coming into this contest, how far you've come. Tell me some things like just say anything. How do you feel? Let me go with you first. Tell me your name first. Hell. Hell. So. Hell. Um, I feel very happy and excited because from the prelims, we didn't really do well. We're part of the A team within school, so winning this contest has been very.
Singer High School. And we are the contestants for all the Ultimate High School competition. My name is Rohana Edison. And I'm the Toko Kwechang. I'm the Sila Sila And I am the Ki Ekan Nanji. Join me starting from the brilliant to the final that's not been an easy one. So we can educate you and excite you and talk to you. By the grace of God, he has helped us from the brilliant to the final. So just by his grace. It is just the things that has brought us this far, and our expectations for the finals is that He will grant us the victory that He has always granted us once in a and to our supporters and our well wishes out there. All we want to say is that we want to support you. We thank the Almighty for bringing us this far, and we hope He continues and gets us to this competition. Thank you. Bye. Now, the honest truth is, <laughs> I saw a girl on a wheelchair, you know, I have a child like that, and I've been worried, thinking, every day it bothers me, how am I going to do with this child? I'm seeing this child on a wheelchair, and she's very busy on her computer. God bless you, Ghana, okay? God bless this country. And now I see why every Ghanaian can lay their lives, a Ghanaian can lay he or her life down for her country. Who wouldn't do that to a country that loves you so much and give you her all? Now it makes a lot of, it makes sense. I'm telling you that a school like, I don't know if you have seen my previous video of a school in Nigeria, I mean government schools in Nigeria and the private schools in Nigeria, you understand why I continue to appreciate everything I see in Ghana. I mean, I'm talking about schools that when you say a school like st louis st louis how do you pronounce is it louis or lois you see a school like st louis in my country it's not for the poor man okay it's not a reg it's like one point something million and that is we are talking about from we are talking about from fifteen thousand ghana cities to be able to afford that you see so when you say god bless our homeland and I understand and now for some Ghanaians that always criticize me why can you not talk good of your country it's not like that it's not as easy as you think for me right now there is nothing I want Nigeria to do for me but I want Nigeria to do for the people of my country that needs it for me I'm living here and by the grace of God I intend to be here for as long as the Lord willing to have me be here and I'm talking about, but I'm talking about the regular man back home who cannot, you see? So I appreciate everything I see in Ghana because it is something to be appreciated. Look at the school and the amount of energy. The children of the rich are here, they kind of connect and all that. It's something, I watched a video of Presec. Watch, they were, I did a video on Presec and there is a way they, those kids kind of embrace themselves and I wanted to cry. Now I realize how you Ghanaians love each other this much, all right? Ghanaians love themselves and it is not homemade. It is made in school and I love it. I love it for you guys and I wish this. I want to see this in 10 years time and please continue like that and also the health. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I'll see you in my next one. Ciao!